Uh, good afternoon. I hope uh, you're not too tired. My name is, I am the Princess of Douala, Princess Marilyn Douala Mangabel. And uh, I run an art center, contemporary art center, uh, named Dual Art in Cameroon. So I'm going to share with you the experience mm -hmm. we had uh, for 27 years uh, in Douala, Cameroon. Um, I'm working, we have two spaces of work. One is our venue, the Espace Dual Art, and the second one is the city as a kind of venue. And I want just to say that poverty, we are fighting against poverty. We are also uh, trying to empower people in the field, in the city of Douala. And uh, for us, poverty is not a matter of um, money or of politics. It's related to the human dignity. People live, need uh, needs to live with security, with normal uh, condition of living, but also um, maybe m more um, over, they need to live with freedom of speech and the right to dream. Then, um, most of the time, those conditions do not exist in their context, in, the, in many countries, and then for this no condition of living, for this no right of speech, freedom of speech, people has three, have three possibilities. One is to live, one is to fight, and the last one is to resist. Um, and the work we are doing uh, is trying to help people to get tools, more tools for resistance, uh, clever resistance. Uh, you may know that in Africa, 70% of the people from Africa who are moving, the migrants, are moving inside the continent, and it's only 30% of the people who are going uh, in the northern part of the world. So um, the difficulties for these migrants inside the continent is that um, when they arrive in a new country, another country, it's very easy to stay there at the starting point. But when the governments want to uh, hide the failure of their way of doing, of governing, they accuse the foreigners to be the responsible of the, the difficulties. And um, this is one of the reasons why people are obliged to move and move and ma are becoming migrant in different other countries. But you may know also that I am from Douala, but before my ancestors were coming from Congo. And then migration is not something new. The, what is new is a way it's, um, there is a recuperation of migration to, to, to stimulate to stimulate hate and war. Um, nowadays, uh, more and more migrants are refugees and dis dip displaced people. There is something very interesting and very new for me in Cameroon and in Africa. It's the coming back of um, young people who are trained in Europe or in the northern part of the world and they are coming back. Um, they uh, come with a lot of energy, with a lot of things they want to do, with the, the thing they uh, learned outside. But when they come back, they have nothing to do with the society. They don't know what is going around, and they don't want to know. They are in their own sect of people. So the work we are doing in Douala is to try to mix people, to try to mix people, to try to help people, the one who live there from so long time, the one who have nothing, to give them a kind of dignity in asking to artists to transform their surrounding, to make them honor 
there is in the spaces where they live and to create platforms where they can speak together and they can get some emotion together uh, through um, performances and so on. So um, we ask, ask to people, we invite people to come and meet other people where they live to have um, a moment together and to share emotions, to share something. They cannot be black, white, they can be Muslims, Christians, they can be, be old, young, and, and so different, you know, kind of persons, and they meet together, and something is happening when they look at an event, when they share something, somewhere where the one from the center of the city will never reach if they have no um, reason to go there, and the one who are in their um, poor uh, settlement uh, they have no possibility to call them, so the, we organize a lot of mixed moment, uh, mixed uh, relationship with people around uh, those kind of uh, work. Uh -huh. Okay. So um, we also work a lot to help kids. Uh, to express themselves, because um, there's two, a lot of things we are doing. We, are, we were born in uh, 1991, and we have done a lot. But one is this example, um, to help kids to speak loudly um, with their new language. You know, there we are faced to new cultural behaviors, and the city of Douala with five million of inhabitants uh, and coming from different parts of the country, but also coming from abroad countries, African countries, and then European and American and so on. So those young people are, uh, are in the way of inventing their new, they are creati creating new words, new vocabulary, new language. And that project was an, a project where they spent time to understand and to read the um, Universal, Universal Decre Human Declaration. And uh, they had to look at their surrounding and to decide which kind of, um, uh, to decide which are the articles they want to, to put louder and to um, offer to the one who don't l listen to them who don't look at them, who don't know that they are alive. So uh, this is a project where an artist worked with these kids and they open, this is a translation in their own language of uh, the articles they have chosen, they have selected to s explain what they want, what they need for themselves. Another one is uh, the uh, speech to the youth. Uh, this is another project around also history, but also uh, human rights, and um, uh, they are able to speak about what they feel and what they want to be done for them. And once uh, a young guy told me, told us that uh, the, human the universal declaration of human rights is not so universal because there is a lot of things we want uh, has rights and they are not in included in that declaration. Well, as a conclusion, um, let's say, Dualart um, opens platforms to educate people and make them get knowledge, to meet people that they never should have met or they ne never had the opportunity to meet, to freeze their speech and stimulate dialogues, um, to get tools for negotiation on documented basis because we work a lot to create information and we share this information with people and at that moment there are possibility to go and see other authorities and so on and they know what they want to negotiate with them. Uh, to make people dream, dreaming is so important, dreaming is so important together and feel part 
of the same history, even if they are coming from different areas, they are at the, that moment in that place and they have the same, they are sharing the same history. And the most important is to say that um, you, we have to pay attention to the others and we have to take care of what they feel, how they are, and how we can do some, something for the others. So the fight is to empower people and to give them the chance to be hear, heard and to become someone, so to have dignity in their life. Thank you. <laughs>